If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week, Week 2 early reveal, guys. It will be dropping later today around, you know, noon, afternoon time to noon. You never know with them, but predominantly, I'd say 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Eastern time. But yeah, let's get into all this, guys. Reach to the channel, subscribe, turn the notification bell. If you need any coins, head on down below to my sponsor so you guys pick up some coins for the new Team of the Week players. But otherwise, guys, here we go. These are some of the power-ups that are going to be being added, of course, for the people who did actually, you know, like, people are wondering where the power-ups were. And here they are uh, for some of the Team of the Week players. So they are supposed to be getting power-ups, of course, for the newer cards. So we have Mike Edwards, uh, Tano, and Justin Hollins. Moving on, guys. These are the guys right here. we got Nick Bosa as one of the players. Now, if you guys remember the low overall Team of the Week cards like this that do have power-ups, they will be going ahead and getting power-up boosts. So, pretty much the Nick Bosa's basically will be getting a plus one on his power-up, basically, card, right? So, that's that. We have Derek Henry, which we did actually figure he would be getting something. So, he'll be getting a plus one as well on his power-up card. So, if you guys have Derek Henry, know that there will be an available spot to upgrade him even further. As well as go ahead and make sure you do get his boost. As you can see there, he has an 88 speed now, which is actually pretty good for a Derrick Henry card, right? The, I, like for, you know, it's basically it's only an 88, so it's actually pretty good. Considering JC Jackson, this is one of the most exciting things of the drop, actually, because a lot of people do have the powered up free JC Jackson from Gridiron Forge. So make sure you guys do go ahead and claim your plus one. I mean, you can boost them up a little bit more, which makes them even higher overall on your team, which makes them still usable. Also, guys, they are targeting another Gridiron Forge update in, I believe, early October. So stay tuned for that as well, because that will be some more free players and a bunch more solos for you to actually complete. Here's the JC upgraded to some of the stats, just some plus ones. You know, it's pretty simple to realize what their stats will be once you understand how this usually works. Cooper Cup had a really good week, been killing it with Matt Stafford, expected this one as well, plus one for him on his base elite, or of course, if he's higher than his base elite, which he is, I believe, he'll go up to like an 85 overall powered up, which is actually really good, as you can see here, so he will be getting an 86 speed, which isn't horrible, but I wouldn't be using him. Roquan Smith had a pick six, I believe, he had a really good week as well, he will be getting an upgrade to himself as well, which would make him an 88 overall powered up player, which is actually really good, again, for a Roquan Smith card, we'll have like an 88 speed, really good. Lamar Jackson might be one of the most exciting ones as well. He will be getting not just a plus one, because of course, again, he's only an 83 overall base elite. He'll be getting an 88 overall powered up card now, which would make him a really good passer. Pretty decent throw power at 86, but 89 speed, which is really, really good. So 89 speed, guys, plus the, you know, 88 change of direction, 89 excel. This is going to be the best mobile quarterback in the game. So if you guys want to go ahead and have some mobility, Lamar's your guy. And of course, you can go ahead and get him from this pack right here if you do go ahead and play the solo challenge you get the nat 87 team of the week player so you can pretty much get lamar 87 overall for free so make sure you guys do go ahead and actually get that because that's not that's not bad at all it's pretty much a free 88 overall power to player right of oh, cool well 87 this is it for that let's head on over to the the big ones you know the heroes the legends the ltds all right so for our first legend team of the week player we have Joey Porter, and a few of these were revealed last night. I believe all of them were revealed last night on Twitter, so if you haven't seen those already, here you go. If you have, talk about some stats, let you guys know what I think about them. But overall, Joey Porter is the defensive one. Now, we were not right on the defensive one, sadly. But nonetheless, Joey Porter, right outside linebacker for the Steelers. If you guys have a Steelers team, team obviously going to be super cool. I believe I have seen him have a legend card in the past four as well. 86 speed. 88 excel now depending on what type of linebacker he is obviously determines whether or not the speed's good 87 strength 90 tackling is really good 87 play rec 86 block shed 90 power move 80 finesse move now considering he is a edge rusher he's a power rusher of course that's going to be actually pretty good because he will get 87 speed 89 excel powered up not to mention he has above 90 power move threshold and the only that would make this card better would have been if he had the block shedding threshold but he's going to be a really really good and super fast pass rusher Again, we're getting a lot of these pretty fast pass rushers and guys like this. This makes me believe that Lawrence Taylor is coming pretty soon. That's typically what they do. They prep us with some cars that seem really good, and then they drop Lawrence Taylor on us. That's typically how this does go. Next, we have Ozzy Newsome, tight end for the Cleveland Browns. Now, I did not expect this one, actually. I predicted a few other guys, obviously, but this was not one of them. Ozzy Newsome, tight end. 88 speed of tight end, guys. They've been just juicing tight end speed this year. It's very unique, actually. Typically, in years past, we've gotten horribly slow tight ends. For the first month or so or two three months and then our first fast one was always like the blitz promo like a darren waller evan ingram-esque kittle even hasn't been as fast in recent years in terms of madden but ozzy newsome 
88 speed powered up will get an 89 speed as well which is actually pretty good considering uh the next fast would be like darren waller and he's just too expensive 84 strength is good 87 catching is pretty good 90 catching traffic 90 spec catch that's going to be elite catching right there not to mention his 87 short and a 91 medium route the most important thing there guys is that he does get above 90 medium route running which makes him pretty elite in terms of speed and route running and run blocking 76 of course waller's a better but Waller obviously is also more expensive, so take that as it is. Next, guys, Mike Edwards is going to be this week's Team of the Week hero for current day, right? So there's one current player from this actual week's performance. That's going to be Mike Edwards. Now, I did actually predict him as one of the lower pieces. I did not expect him to actually go ahead and get the top card, but there he is. He did have two pick sixes, although the stats are obviously are great, but they were tip picks from Matt Ryan. You know, they weren't exactly the hardest thing in the world. Again, still impressive, two pick sixes nonetheless, but... Matt, Matt Ryan got like, you know, he had his hand hit, I believe, or something like that, and it tipped up right to him for an easy pick six, but still requires some athleticism, right? Not taking away from that. But anyways, Mike Edwards, 91 overall free safety. So powered up, he can get to a 92 overall, one of the higher overalls in the game. 91 speed base, 91 excel, 85 tackle, 85 play rec, 87 pursuit, 85 man, 90 zone, 88 hit power. This is going to be one of the best safeties in the game, quite honestly, because if you do power him up, he will have a 92 speed which makes him elite speed wise he will have an 89 hit power and above 90 zone already and close to 90 man coverage now again i wish that hit power was one more better to get into the 90 range but this is going to be an insane card i mean it's good it's a good card and he shouldn't be too expensive because of course he is the hero and he's not one of the ltds so he'll fall right into range with his overall group so that shouldn't be too hard to actually go ahead and acquire him which is always super cool because you do on the you guys know once you see the LTD tagged on, no matter how deep, you know, unless the card's an action, like a god card and you need him anyways, once you see the LTD tag, a lot of people know, okay, I won't even try for him because he's going to be above what he actually is worth, but he's going to be within the hero range, right? So that shouldn't be too bad. And then guys, for the LTD of the week, we do have Aaron Jones. Now in my predictions, I did predict, right? There was two guys I had my eyes on. First, it was Aaron Jones. He was going to be my guy, but then I thought about it, right? We just got Reggie Bush. We got um, Saquon Barkley. We did just get the Curtis Martin. We've been getting so many running backs, and I was like, "Oh, we just got um, Priest Holmes." I was like, "Okay, so that's it. I can't keep I can't keep predicting running backs. They're not gonna keep giving us that many running backs." And there, so I changed Aaron Jones, and of course, it was Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, 90 speed though, 91 excel, 91 agility, 91 carrying, 78 catching, 89 change of direction, 88 trucking, and 92 break tackle. Now the card stat wise is pretty amazing. Right above 90 change of direction, above 90 break tackle. Close to above 90 truck powered up, he'll be 93 overall. 91 speed, he'll get 92 excel, 92 agility, 91 carrying, close to 80 catching. The card as a overall card is insane. The only issue I have, again, I'm pretty big on weight this year, and he's not going to have that weight that I'm probably looking for, give or take. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like the Henry's and the Saquons. But and you know, and, and at least if he doesn't have the weight, give him the speed, but he's tied with all the you know, Reggie, Saquon, all those guys as well. So I don't really see the immediate need to upgrade him. Plus, he's gonna have the LTD price tag as well. But you do get the most well-rounded back probably in the game. Going to be a power back that can also catch and juke and run pretty fast. He's going to be good at everything. And he's elusive back, so he will get some pretty good abilities as well. Pending his juke, spin move, as well as his stiff arm and stuff behind the card. But this card's good. Now, I didn't look up his weight, but I do know he's not one of the heavier backs in the league. Or at least not the heaviest, which would be Derrick Henry. Um, or well, AJ Dillon technically is right there too. But he's not going to get a card like that in Madden anytime soon. Pending injury, of course. Guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite and who do you think was snubbed this week. I mean, I feel like Derrick Henry was snubbed. It does lead, to, lead me to believe that Derrick Henry will probably be getting a card around Mutt Heroes or Most Feared, which is coming up in October. Now, that will take a while to get either one of those, considering at the earliest, let's say they're both October promos. We're looking at at least two weeks till Mutt Heroes. And at close to, close to a month, three, three to four weeks away from at least most feared so if those two promos come on the usual timely manner and they do come you know come in general we won't be seeing derrick henry for at least until next month so either way it kind of is a snub but i can see where they're going with that and that derrick henry card will be insane if it went and if if and when it does drop right that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace